apparently we are live and recording and if it's coming through onto YouTube that's a good thing if it's not <clears throat> I'm actually further away from the microphone than you are so if you talk that I can hear you talking can you hear me talking I don't know <laughs> only if you talk how to D&D &D. welcome to it well I mean don't say that just yet I just you know can you hear me now I I can hear myself. But you, you can't hear me. Well, you're not speaking. I'm speaking. You sure? I'm standing right next to you. Well, you got to keep talking because there's like a delay. Um. Merry Christmas, Fred. Merry Christmas. Okay, yeah, I can hear you now. Yeah, okay. <laughs> let's put a let's let's put a poll up here, shall we? Yeah. Um, I I guess I guess we are definitely ready. It looks like everything is working, and um, yes, we've brought our salad with us, Todd. Yeah. You can hear both of us. It's a red sound. All right. Okay. All right. We're in business. All right. I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to pull this thing out because this is going to be annoying for you. <clears throat> and um, I'll, I'll let you uh, you do it, dude. You need to okay. fire away. Yep. Welcome to How to D&D. &D. Um, my name is David Bailey. And um, I'm here to paint, well, <laughs> either paint a frog or a, make a salad. Mm. Uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, I've pre-painted I've pre it, I'm using an underpainting, so um, that's given me the base colours, using some turquoise greens, a little bit of um, bone colour and um, red and magentas, and um, that's what I'm going to be starting with, and who knows what's going to happen when I finish, because I haven't really thought about it, so <laughs> let's get into it. And Fred, um, Fred is starting to feel better from his coronavirus. Yeah, yeah I've, uh, you know, I... I, I uh, didn't I ask to have it? You did. I was in jest. I, I did actually ask to have it in jest. Yeah, and, and then you got it. And then <laughs> so how? So after the jesting, um, how does it feel to actually have it? Um, I feel I feel like an orangutan um, <laughs> with a uh, a speech impediment <laughs> who can't do math or anything actually um, <laughs> no ability to actually think yeah. whatsoever <laughs> fair enough <laughs> and potentially there are times where i feel like i'm not actually on planet earth and maybe somewhere else so it's um it's more like a drug than a virus is it <laughs> <laughs> hello nacho how are you doing nacho is a, a patron and supports the channel so thank you for showing up today how's it going man i believe todd is too um todd's brought the salad today and uh, we're bringing the <laughs> the frog meat it's brought the salad <laughs> yeah yeah i got fr it's frog meat um salad <laughs> <laughs> so i put up a poll about the old uh 1979 alien movie do you remember that thing? Oh, I do. It was um, it's a it's a all time classic. <laughs> what I find amusing about it is I spent years avoiding that movie. Why? Because it was terrifying. I keep hearing about that <laughs> that thing that would come out of their chest, and I was like, no. Oh yeah. You might need to move a little bit further that in. way. Yeah, maybe a little bit in. Are you feeling like I should have put the um the movable arm up for no, this? No, this is all right. I'll I'll get used to it. I'm sure. <laughs> it's just a salad. <laughs> right. <laughs> so for those of you who don't know, um, this is basically like a a demonic frog or toad. Yeah. How's it going, Dungeons and Chronics? Hello, how are you? So if you don't know, uh, this is my brother. Hi, how's it going? <laughs> and um, David actually has his own YouTube channel. I do, I do. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> I had one and now I have one again. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a casualty of war thing going on there with your channel, right? Yes, I got <laughs> hacked. What did you get hacked through? Was it Instagram? Yep. And I hacked every single part of my social media, everything. So um, yeah, it was fun. <laughs> and I lost my YouTube channel for it, and all my subscribers. Yeah, so you've had to start all over again, right? Yeah. But hey, who knows? I, I'm, I'm planning to move to UK in June, and uh, maybe the algorithm will be in my favour if I go over there. Are you going to go to where? UK. 
The UK. London. Ah, oh, right, because we in New Zealand, <laughs> nobody New watches. Zealand, nobody watches <laughs> anything. Yeah, YouTube's like, ah, oh, oh. YouTube, New Zealand is... It is not real. It's it's like a flea. Yes. <laughs> it is like a flea. It, it is, is like, like a, a flea. flea. Yeah, yeah. Like, it, we don't even notice it. And if, if anything, if we do notice it, we just want to crush it. And that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fingertips, yeah, right, yeah. And, and nails. It's and biting crush. me. Yeah, it's hurting. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's just an annoyance. <laughs> yes. How's it going, Nacho? So, Nacho, what do you got here? Um, thanks to my older brother, I actually read the Alien graphic novel adaption before oh, the movie. Oh, wow. It actually took me years. I think it may be 20 years before I finally watched the original Alien movie. Really? Yes. But it was the same with Terminator. And Arnold's Termina um, T Terminator and James Cameron's Terminator. No uh, people told me about it, and i like, sounds stupid to me. And then somebody said, oh, you should see Alien. There's this scene where this thing rips out of his chest. And I'm like, why would I want to see that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, you're not a horror fan, though. It's kind of a horror, really, isn't it? Space horror? Yeah, Sam's more into the horror stuff. Yeah. Although I don't know if he really... Oh, does he like Alien? I'm not sure. He's more into the um, the B-grade sort of like, you know, Hellraiser and Freddy, and Freddy Krueger stuff, you know? Yeah, well, I hated Freddy Krueger for obvious reasons. Cheesy? Well, no, because I got called Freddy Krueger at school all the time. Oh, you should have um, worn Sam's glove that he made. Oh, uh, well, <laughs> that wasn't around. No. Yeah. Well, I think, Nacho, if your wife is saying you need to have more um, slard, um, um, I'm, I'm, I'm cold slaw, is that what we're talking about? With yeah. The, the yeah, salad, cold slaw, but it's the specific one, it's the cold slaw rather than the salad. I like cold slaw. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. nice. Yeah, I don't, I don't think you want to eat slard because... They have this really nasty feature, <laughs> which basically means they can implant a tadpole in you. Oh, and this, so this is why you brought up the alien. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, like, it's got the same, it's got a, it's just as nasty. <laughs> well, I kind of, I kind of feel that um, um, a lot of the ideas from Alien probably came from something else, like an older, an older um, novel or an older movie and it got appropriated by Dungeons and Dragons and uh, and James Cameron for the Alien movie. Yeah, it was Ridley Scott who did that one. Yeah. So so I don't know if you know, but there's been a lot of hoo-ha around Dungeons and Dragons and this um, open game license stuff. And um, I'm really looking forward to seeing it if it's as bad as people are saying because it would be highly entertaining to, <laughs> to watch us go through another 4E situation. But I thought, while I can because there's a potential that um, I, I may not be able to do D&D &D videos. Uh, Why? Because they would require um, a cut, or at least for me to report all my data around it. What? So, yeah. Yeah, so so they would they they would need to know... They're doing a Warhammer. I know. They would need to know that I made a video on, say, um, my brother painting the red slard <sighs> miniature. Man, that's just not cool. And uh, that I, it was a, just under an hour, and um, all of about eight people were watching, and um, <laughs> and, the, and that maybe later on, uh, maybe a hundred or two hundred people um, watched the replay of it, and, yeah. and that I made approximately twenty six cents. Uh, oh my gosh! But but the I mean, you got to remember that twenty six cents in American money. So when you come, that's like you know American money is real money compared to New Zealand money. That's so it's like a dollar. It's like well, it, well, it's it's getting close. Yeah. It's more, more like fifty cents or just under fifty cents. I think. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So not really a dollar. Yeah, right. but maybe yeah. So yeah. So I suppose I better talk about the slard, the red slard before I can't anymore. That would be. You say that's your job gone. Well, that, I guess that could happen. Could be happening. I could call myself how Did to... Games Workshop buy Dungeons and Dragons? No. It seems like a, it seems like a Games Workshop um, scenario to right. me, to be yeah. honest. Yeah, yeah. Um, what's here? What do you got here, Dungeons and Chronics? Why wouldn't you want to see something ripping out of somebody's chest? Well, because I wasn't really into that sort of thing, Dungeons and Chronics. Were you into that sort of thing when you were growing up, man? I didn't see it when I was growing up. I, was, I saw it way later because... Um, you, know, you guys were our um, TV guardians, remember? That's right, yeah. You might need to move further forward if it's even the, possible. Um, yeah, the, <laughs> um, <laughs> the um, yeah, I think yeah, you guys tried to protect us from stuff, and Sam just let us watch everything. 
Yeah, Sam, yeah, Sam. Yeah, show does nightmare on Elm Street and um, and, and all of the horrible stuff. Mm-hmm. And um, the girls end up having nightmares. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, that's right, Todd. It's on D and D Beyond. Um, yeah, get used mm. to the you and that. You may maybe the only place that you can get information on um, Dungeons and Dragons Red Slards in the future. So. Um, <clears throat> The most dangerous of Slard. I don't know if it's the most dangerous, but let me read out the small section on the red Slard, which means I have to take my glasses off because I can't actually read at a distance and then read a book. It doesn't seem to work that way. <laughs> and I need to drink water because I will, like, disappear. Okay, so this is what it says. When a red Slard's claws claws a humanoid creature, it can inject an egg from a gland under one of its claws. It is gross, isn't it? The egg works its way into the host and gestates, eventually forming a slard tadpole. Oh. You've got a little tadpole growing in you. Woohoo! This is so like alien. <laughs> Such a tadpole then eats its way out of the host's body, feeds on the host's remains, of course, when it's dead. It's not going to be alive. Uh, and then seeks out other fresh meat it can find. The tadpole transforms into a fully grown blue slard or green slard if the host had the ability to cast third level spells or higher within the last say or, or is it uh, 2d 12 hours? So you roll a 12 sided dice twice and that's how many hours if, a, if there's somebody who's cast a spell of third level third level or higher so they like to ha- hang out in wizards. <laughs> okay. Like it's it's like uh, oh, I prefer my wizards over the fighters. So the last thing they want to do is be they're magically powered from their growth. I guess is well, magic powers their growth. <laughs> yes, I guess I guess so. <laughs> uh, so yes, so red slard becomes a green slard or a blue slard depending on whether the host is a magic user or not and casts spells. Oh. Hey, tell us a little bit about what you're doing here, dude, because, um, yeah. Just painting heart, eyes and nails and trying to get an idea of what I'm actually going to do with this, to be honest. <laughs> I haven't, it's been a while since I've actually painted. I've been, I've been, I'm not painting, I've been drawing. What have you been drawing? Um, Space Marines. Space Marines. Of course you have. Actually, um, uh, um, Sisters of Battle. Okay. Sisters of Battle. Yes, Adeptus Sororitas. Adeptus Sororitas. Do you know anything about them? They are, um, they're all girls. Well, that's a good start. I kind of got the idea from the Sisters of Battle when you said the Sisters of Battle. (laughs) So I'm going to post the link to your YouTube channel into the chat while you tell them about the... um, Sisters of Battle? Yeah, that's the one. They're the Emperor's um, priests, really. They're like... um, Oh, they're like like, um, nuns. (laughs) They're like deadly nuns who fight for the Emperor because the Emperor is... um, a carcass on a throne um but somehow he's still alive even though he's a corpse um and they uh, yeah they fight for him uh, and they and they also turn into angels at some sometimes as well so yeah they're, they're interesting uh badass girls but, uh, yeah. definitely tricky to draw though because it's um all the armor is black so when you're drawing monochrome with a pencil uh, you just got to get really good at shading so you can get some interesting looks with the, uh, the black. I remember uh, seeing a few people, they came, when I was playing Warhammer 40k, they came out as I was uh, running my Necron army. and um, Metal though, aren't they? They were metal, yeah, they were, all of them were metal. And they they were about three times ex- more expensive than any other miniature. They were, yes. <laughs> yeah, apparently... Um, they are plastic now. <laughs> but apparently sculpting and moulding female uh, warriors in Warhammer... Is it, more expensive. Is more, more costly uh, to do than um, guys. And uh, so we, you had, if you're going to have a Sisters of Battle, yeah. your, your army was about... One third the size of everybody else's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's the reason why they brought in kill teams. So you can have smaller forces. Right. 
Right. Because that's what they're doing now. All right. Kill teams. So that's like small, only small forces. <clears throat> uh, what do we got here? Somebody. Oh, Nacho. How many reptile or amphibian type monsters are in D and D? Oh man, that sounds like a big question. Well, I think that is a lot of. That's a big. That is a huge question. I think the question is not how many are in D and D, but just how many um, reptilian and amphibious monsters are there in folk hero or folklore and because well, a dragon is a reptile well it, it is isn't it? Yeah, so it's a dragon yeah mm. fortunately dragon's not um D D ip stuff so i can still talk about dragons oh man <laughs> i'm, 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 got, I'm just i'm just i'm just pla i'm playing with you yeah, yeah. i just couldn't help myself oh man <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, what happens if I can't use the name How to D&D as a YouTube channel? Oh no, How to P&P? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was thinking, well, How to D&D might, might represent How to Dungeons and Dragons, but it could, it could stand for How to Death Star and Droids. Yes. I've done that before. And then you'll have um, Lucasfilm and Disney chasing your ass. Well, that, which would be even more frightening than Hasbro or Wizards of the Coast, right? Yes. Because oh, yeah. cause they have more lawyers. and yeah. They do. They do. <laughs> uh, so Todd tells us that there are three amphibian and three reptilian according to D&D Beyond. Yeah, really? But, yeah, but then, but then again, you know... Um, Apparently, uh, Wizards of the Coast thinks that, thinks that certain things are undead when they've not been undead in the past. Like, yeah, it's a bit confusing how they, mm. they designate things. So I kind of, the designation of creatures, I kind of ignore it a little bit. Yeah. Because um, they'll probably change it anyway. Uh, and you won't be allowed to talk about it. Well, that's true. You know, that's, that's, always, that's always a possibility. So I thought, wouldn't it be nice if I could... If, if I got the opportunity to just call myself how to... Oh, now, Nacho has suggested how to B and D. I don't... What does B and D stand for? Now you've got to tell me what B and D stands for. Mm. Oh, do you know what it is, David? Uh, how, um, well, if it was how to B and B, it would be how to bed and breakfast. Okay. How to bed and breakfast. Yeah. But would anybody watch that? Um... You're probably more people than people that watch Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably true. Yeah. Would I know anything about that? I don't know. No, you wouldn't. No, I have no idea what <laughs> no, I would do with that. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> uh, I don't know. You'd have to go to a bed and breakfast and take all your Dungeons and Dragons there and, and like, play a game from B&B. Well, I was thinking, you know, I have, I have 14 Star Wars Saga roleplay game books over there. And I thought, well, maybe I'll just do a whole lot of Star Wars stuff. And since since the license for the, that that particular game is gone, uh, your yeah, Wizards of the Coast made them. Oh, did they? But they they got no rights to it anymore. Oh, of course. And they don't sell a book anymore. Mm. So I can oh oh I see. Um, <laughs> Nacho suggested bondage and discipline. Yeah, that's about the same as D and D, isn't it? How's it going, art teacher online? Art teacher online. It's my mum. Uh, how's it going, mum? Um, I'm I'm <laughs> as you can tell, I am alive. Uh, and and I can speak. I just sound like a frog. <laughs> oh, oh, perfect for the channel. Oh, the right no, to the paint today. Freddy the Frog. Oh, oh no, we don't need that. We don't need that. You actually sound like a frog for the first time. <laughs> You're having a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I was thinking, you know, de you know, Death Stars and, and droids, uh, and I could do I could do Star Wars Saga. Of course, nobody plays the game. Nobody be able to buy the game. Nobody's actually probably watching any of the videos on the game. There is a um, <laughs> I saw somebody talking about it, the, the Legacy of Shadows or something. Legacy of Shadows, yeah, but I didn't like that game. I did look at it, but I just don't I just don't like the idea that the dice tell me how to role play the character and. And I just, yeah, it's just not my thing. I, I, yeah. I think it's innovative. I just didn't like it that much myself. I think the um, problem for me is most of the, my thing is like um, people painting. Mm -hmm. So they won't play the game. No, no. Just they just paint. want to paint the miniatures. So they buy the whole box set so they can paint the miniatures and yeah. then stick them on the shelf. Yeah. <laughs> the other thing is I've actually got the old um, D20 Star Wars, a lot of the, um, D20 Star Wars stuff there. I've got a book on the Death Star and Ooh. his schematics and so forth. And I also, as you know, I've got, I used to play Warhammer 40k, so I've got the old rule book. But remember, I bought 
Dark Heresy, the role play game. Yes. Yeah. Now that I was interested in. Yeah, well, I, we only got to play once. I know. And we didn't even really use all the rules. I know, and I enjoyed that game. And we needed somebody to die, so they had to um, 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 replace a body part. Yes. That would have been more fun. So, yeah, like, you know, when the slard bursts out of your chest, well, you know, you have a chest plate. New, a new heart <laughs> it's probably eaten all your organs so you're yeah, going to need yeah. some replacement organs as well yeah 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 um so um yeah maybe maybe we can go with um what would be a new a good name how to die and cyborg no probably not actually i've got a good story about that do you yeah i was watching um i've got warhammer tv <laughs> have you heard of it <laughs> yeah you have yeah, yeah. so there's an animated series on there where there's a um a mechanicus um, woman goes down to a planet and she's got a droid with her and pretty much everyone's been killed by orcs um, and they're looking for some artifact and um, they find one survivor um, you know the astro uh, military and the um, just the normal human soldiers and um, he, he has a, the robot's damaged and this this guy she's like talking to him and you know trying to give him hope and stuff next to this fire and um, and she notices with her special x-ray vision that he has a bionic arm so she just kills him and takes his arm and puts, fixes the robot. Yeah. <laughs> she no. says for a good cause. <laughs> What's another name I could go with? So, I mean, I, I kind of feel like um, bed and breakfast isn't going to work and bondage no. and discipline. Um, I could go how to demons and devils because that goes right back to the satanic panic, doesn't it? <laughs> for Dungeons and Dragons. Isn't this the 60s or 70s or something? Oh, it was back in the 70s when it first came out. And yeah, and they did. Yeah. I think it was satanic. Yeah, 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 yeah. I could call myself de- Demons and Devils now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that would actually be quite metal. Yeah, that would be quite metal. That would yeah, be quite, be quite rock, metal. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you how, need to get the metalism to it. How do demons and devils? Yeah. My gosh, that kind of works quite well. The yeah. other, the other I na- um, name I was thinking of. I'm, I'm looking at the chat, people. I, I, I will read it, but I'm, I'm going to go with my line of thought because it's funny. Uh, <laughs> and I was, th- I was thinking the other day. Well, what if I had to change my name? Could I call myself How to Discover and de- um, Decapitate? <laughs> because <laughs> it's the dungeon side of things so you're exploring yeah, yeah. right so discover and then and what do you do after that you kill monsters basically you do you decapitate you, you, you decapitation yeah. <laughs> so it's going to be how to discover and decapitate or in Rosie's case if you find some treasure oh well, she decapitates you to get the treasure even if you're in her party she doesn't do that <laughs> she doesn't have time she just leaves you to die yeah <laughs> <laughs> How, yeah, she grabs she grabs all your stuff and she's gone. Yeah. How how does it look for um for the likes of uh, my my youngest sister who who loved playing Dungeons and Dragons as a vampire sorcerer yes. of all things. <laughs> oh man. Uh, let me think. It would have to be how to how to what how to how to sabotage and destroy an entire party. Well, um, uh, how to pillage and um, let people die. I, I just don't know. I mean, yeah. how many times did we wind up... Oh, man, you guys almost died many times yeah, because she because did that. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah. All right, let's have a look at the, the chat and see what... Um, the, <laughs> keep your acronym. Yeah, yeah, I'm just going to change my name to uh, um, whatever will work. I, I'm, I'm really... I'm very partial to the idea of having more than one mm. because now one day I can call myself Death Stars and Droids. And then as soon as... Um, you know, how to dance with demons. How, yeah. Demons and devils. How yep. to demons and devils. How to discover and decapitate. Yep. There's so many openings. Like, you know, I can just take any kind of IP that I had and just take aspects of it to sort of jump down on that one. Tied up in their um, formative years. Um, now look... Um, <laughs> no, you didn't keep me us tied up. Um, we we we're all good. We're all good. We're fine. It's all cool. Uh, <laughs> I see Carl. Carl has Carl's all for supporting um, the change of name to How to Demons and Devils. Yeah. So Carl, um, like if if enough people like that idea and would actually watch it, what well, we it's that's a viable option. I feel. I can change the name of my channel, um, what, every six months if I need to? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you got here, Todd? I uh, was like, Gary Gygax tried making another game. Yes, I remember. Um, uh, Dangerous Dimensions, but TSR threatened legal action because it was too close to D&D. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. So, so, but uh, you know, what I can do is I, I can just keep changing the name and just pick another D and D name. Do so, you... what happens? They put out a movie. They, they put, put out it... a movie, right? Dungeons and Dragons, and yeah. all of a sudden, nobody can do um, YouTube on Dungeons and Dragons anymore. Well, that hasn't. It's not official. It's all leaked stuff. So they 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 may never release release it. It might uh, might not ever happen. But um, but uh, it's it's funny. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, I I thought it was entertaining. It's entertaining, all right. Yeah. It just it just screams Games Workshop though to mm. me. But yeah. So what are you doing? You going to go with a blue? Yeah, blue little blue markings on them. Mhm. Mm and um, what are the claws? The little claws look like you're going with a green. Yeah, because because they, they they um if he's going to put um things inside you, <laughs> it's really gross. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, they need to be pretty gross looking claws. They, I think they do. I think they because they inject tadpoles, don't <sighs> they? Yeah. It's really it's very alien. I can see why. You, yeah. Ugh. <laughs> So, so I see Nacho suggested, um, just call yourself, how about keep rolling those 20s? Just call myself, how to keep rolling those 20s. I could. Yeah, you could. I could. I feel like that everybody's catchphrase now has got something to do with a D20 uh, on mm. YouTube. <laughs> it was, it was, it was, it was good when I started out, but I've noticed that there's a lot of people who are picking up that and something about a 20 sided dice now, <laughs> uh, which kind of makes sense if you're talking about D and D, right? Yeah. Um, Dungeons and Chronics has got a fantastic idea. How to devastate and destroy. Yes, that's cool. Uh, I Look, I need to start writing some of these names down, um, don't I? So mm. I have a, a, a pool of names, so every six months I can change my name. To a How the Games Workshop and Dragons. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> uh, dear. So what do you, I mean, you've played Dungeons and Dragons before. Yep. With me. I have. Um, what was your favourite bit? What's your favourite part of it? Uh, the comedy aspect of it, really, I think. The role-playing comedy aspect of it, and, and Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> and you were quite a fun dungeon master as well, because you had to think on the fly a lot with us. Because uh, we were quite... You, yeah, we did some really ruthless stuff constantly. Oh, yeah, big time, big yeah. time. Uh, what do we got here, Todd? Interesting, what, uh, what the layer did the claws... Okay, so do you want to explain to them, because you use um, airbrushing, right? And you airbrush this thing before you even start painting. I did, yeah, I did it last night, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so while you're painting, could you explain the process of what you did? Um, of the airbrushing or the claws? No, of the, of the airbrushing. Oh, the airbrushing. Yeah. Um, I airbrushed it purple first to give like all my shadows um, and built up with um, like turquoises and blues underneath. Um, and I put like a paler colour under it because I saw a version of it with a sort of paler colour under it, um, under its sort of arms and its belly and chest. Um, and then I went over with three different reds and a magenta, which is sort of like a pink sort of colour, just to brighten it out a little bit. Um, and that was just to the base colour um, because I like using lots of colour, uh, I paint with colour. So um, red just isn't just red, it's, it's. And frogs, you know, like if you look at frogs, they've got all sorts of different colours on them. So they, I had a few looks at frogs. Yeah, and you looked at a lot of stuff, didn't you? Yeah. Todd's asking, how is it you decided what to paint, uh, uh, what to paint the light blue random? So he thinks it's a bit random that you used a, a light blue. Do you want to explain? Because there's a lot of um, light blue and, and frogs, isn't there? Yeah, um, it's just, uh, well, actually, this is from the Dungeons and Dragons model. So right. It's got like blue. There's a green one. Yeah, there's it's like one a red, greens, red, red, green, red green. and green and red and blue. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, just because frogs are just have heaps of different random colours on them. And um, you also think about um, what co colour will stand out off red. Mm -hmm. um, so an, an opposing colour to red is, um, so complementary colour, uh, is green. Right. And this is a turquoise blue-green, so right. it stands out. Um, so you want it to sort of pop off. Well, when I painted um, the red slide, I did it green and blue, right? Yeah. You did? Yeah. Yeah, and, and that was same sort of rationale, actually. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yep. Complementary colours, they pop out. <laughs> and if you don't have complementary colours, well, hmm. Uh, yeah, well, it just it fades in and, you know, yeah. I don't know. When I see frogs, they're very colourful and they, they, their colours usually oppose, so they, they pop out. And if they have little spots on them and stuff. Um, otherwise, it just disappears. And this guy's not hiding from anyone. <laughs> no, no, exactly. <laughs> I mean. He's not afraid. 
and 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 let's not forget that um, to to paint paint a red slard just red is pretty boring. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I was like, hmm. Let's make an interesting monster and colour it. And it's oh, it was like red. painting the Nightwalker black, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is just matte black. Just matte black. Matte black. Yeah, yeah. which means I could have just spray painted it and put matte varnish on it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's finished. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to cough a choke a bit. Yeah. Uh, so apparently my eyes don't work at distance and I don't work with the glasses on now. Well, that's good news. <laughs> uh, what, what do you got? What's here, Nightshow? Uh, going to multitask and quick get my my dungeon 23 room done at the same time might be bondage themed today fair enough <laughs> okay hello big kid big kid is also a patron how's it going matey um how do i get my brother to paint my models um i invite him onto a live stream and then initially i asked what i asked you do you want to just do it once a week and you said no i'll do it five days of days a week that's yeah, yeah. fine yeah, yeah. <laughs> I forgot to mention he's going to be back in two days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Either, the, either I finish this today and I paint something else or I keep painting this. What What else do we have in the painting um, scheme? I think there was... Uh, there's a... Models. Yeah, the, the other miniatures. There's the... Oh, man. There's a dire troll. There's a... Oh, that's uh, right. There's a, um, there's, a beho- there's a beholder, an undead beholder. Yeah, the, the, the zombie beholder so, or undead beholder? Un- undead, I think. Undead beholder. Undead. Dire, dire troll... Undead, beh- undead beholder there's a magic using slard that must be is it the blue slard or the yeah, green yeah uh, blue it must blue, be a blue slard like yeah. the spell casting one right yep there's an ank egg which is like a giant scary monstrified um, New Zealand wetter <laughs> well it is I mean I mean if you, 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 if you look at it right it looks like a, a wetter that somebody has um, pumped full of steroids <laughs> and the New Zealand wetter looks terrifying enough as oh, it is oh and there's that shark dude Oh, uh, yeah. Let's see, a the, shark, the one, shark, the, wear shark. The wear shark, that I, uh, the Bones Miniatures one that I painted like, years yeah. ago. Yeah. 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 Todd, Todd is asking a question. Um, uh, tell, him, <laughs> but tell him he's better at it than you. Yes, that's that's true, Mum. Um, I did, I said, you're better at painting miniatures live than I am. You should do more of it. And <laughs> and now David's here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. How would I paint a gelatinous cube? Um, how would I paint a gelatinous cube? Um, similar guide, similar concept actually. Put a lot of color underneath it because you want it. It's a gelatinous cube. You can just imagine what you've got around you because it's see through. Um, and put light light layers of white over the color so it looks like it's translucent. Sort of like a, a trick the eye effect. That's probably how I'd paint a gelatinous cube. Um, I've never tried though. I don't. Do you have a gelatinous cl- a cube? I have many. <laughs> no, I'm serious. There's one in the movie actually. I saw. I can show you one right now. I can see it on my shelf. I'll go get it. Okay. Right. Yeah. Let's have a look at a yeah. gelatinous cube. I'll show you a gelatinous have cube. Have you painted it? No, I, I didn't need to because it was see through. Oh. <laughs> oh. So that's how Fred painted a gelatinous yeah, cube. Yeah, yeah. I just don't paint it at all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dungeons and Chronics says, does your brother base the miniature, a mini after paint the paint job? I think what he means is, do you put like a clear coat over it? I put a matte varnish on it. Do you want to tell him about your matte varnish and what, what matte it's varnish a, It's you... a Vallejo matte varnish and I airbrush it onto it. It's a super matte varnish, so it gives it a really, really flat, flat surface um, and just kills all the reflection, which is I like because it focuses on the paint job. Um, yeah. Um, and I use a lot of Vallejo paints as, as my sort of go-tos. What's your opinion of the Army Painter paints? Um, well, I use their washes, so yeah, I use some of their stuff. Yep, yep, they're good. And I have used some of yours, actually. The Are you talking about oh, my, my Vallejo, or are you talking about the Knowles' Marvelous Pigments, which is basically just rebranded Army Painter paints called D&D? <laughs> yeah, so I, I've used your Army Painter paints. Yeah. The D and D army ad paint yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I've used those, so yeah, yeah. They, they were good. They're pretty good. <sighs> right. So I've written down a few of these um, names um, for my channel, so that I can change my name of my channel when the, um, Wizard of the Coast sends me a cease and desist letter. What about red salad? Red salad. Uh, How to red salad? I don't How to know. make a red salad? I don't. I hardly eat salad as it is. <laughs> what would I know about salad? I don't really know that much about salad. I know there's. Red salad? Would that be red lettuce? 
No. Well, there is there's red cabbage, isn't there? There is. And, and red I, onions. I can't eat onions, though. I just don't eat the onions. And I can't eat cabbage. So how's that going to work? I don't, feel, I don't feel like this is a good idea. Okay, so what was the other name? Bondage and something, wasn't it? Bondage. Um, I'm not promising that I'm... Dungeons and bondages? No, I see. He said... Uh, I'm bondage and the dungeons. I, I'm not promising that I'm changing the name of my channel to Bondage and whatever the heck it was. But if I can remember, I'll just have a look and see if I can find this. <laughs> so um, so this is obviously the, the live stream where my brother David is going to be painting the Red Slard miniature while we discuss my name change of my channel. Yeah. Um, and so far... Which is weird. That we're even discussing the change of the name of your channel at all. Well, because it's funny. It oh, is funny. Carl, Carl, I, I really feel like you're on the right track. Because it wasn't that, that. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, that does make sense. Because there, there's sense. a movie out there um, with Tom Hanks called Monsters and Mazes. Is there? It's terrible. Oh, okay. Yeah, and. It, <laughs> <laughs> not not only is it terrible, it paints the like the worst possible picture of a person who is involved in role play games that involves Dungeons and Dragons. Oh. So so yeah. Why uh, did they put Tom Hanks in there? Well, I, he, I think it was his first movie. Oh. It's a very young young Tom Hanks. Is there such a thing? Yeah yeah no I, I won't change to bondage because then YouTube won't like that. No no it probably won't like that. Um. I mean, I'm sure people watching would like that, but I don't think YouTube's going to like that. I have enough time with them actually promoting anything that I do. So, <laughs> um, so Monsters and Mazes is actually... But the only thing is, I was like, who has the rights to that, um, that movie, Monsters and Mazes, and would they chase me down, and should I be afraid? <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry. Um, still, still recovering. It's got the nerglings. Yeah, yeah. I did test myself yesterday, so I'm not. I'm not here infecting my brother. Um, Hopefully not. Yeah. No, man. I was negative yep. um, a couple of days back, and I tested myself yesterday, and I was negative again. Yeah. Uh, but apparently, uh, you now have to suffer with me coughing and choking. You know how I'm always on when I'm here on live. I'm almost barely. I'm drowning in my own mucus, and so really. Yeah. yeah now they're going to get that and the coughing and the choking. So. Um, mm. There's no point in me doing any editing because I'm not going to be able to get any of that stuff out. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't really call myself Satanic Panic. Could oh. I call no, how to sat Satanic Panic? No, the it's it's it's, it's, it's it's too much. I, yeah, I mean, yeah, let's not get too crazy here. Let's not get too crazy. Here. Yeah, <laughs> you know, oh, yeah. that's, that's yeah. Uh, <laughs> what's that big kid? I love the movie. It crosses the it's so bad um, <laughs> good threshold. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yes, I had considered very seriously Monsters and Mazes uh, just for that possibility. <laughs> um, oh, that's right. I had said I'd mentioned that I wanted to change the name to Discover and Decapitate, didn't I? How to Discover and de de Decapitate. Discover and Decapitate. Um, so for those of you who don't know, um, this does not really work for me, <laughs> but... Even though we're live here, my brother's doing all the work. I'm just sitting mm. here watching him. Yeah. Yeah. And and so uh, we're going to do this uh, like uh, over the next two weeks while I'm on holiday. Um, <laughs> and should the sun actually come out, I'll go to the beach. But uh, till that time, since it's not, uh, yeah, we, we're going to hang out, do this. It's going to be like this for a, week, a couple of weeks, apparently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got two weeks of having to put up with this. Yep. I'm so sorry for you. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's just depressing. Yeah. <laughs> I better get used to this weather, actually. Because um, apparently um, London has like two weeks of summer. Do they? Most of the time. Is, is, that, is that just London or is that England? England. Are you sure? Is somebody from... It, change, it changes yeah. because of the global warming. It's been changing. Ah. But, some, but, but generally it would be very short summers, yeah. Right. Did they, so they, did they have a summer before? Not a very big one, no, a couple of weeks sort of stuff. <laughs> All right, so now so now it's less? Now it's either less or more, and, and if it's less, it's extreme heat. So 40, almost 40 degrees they've been having. Right, yes, yeah, so social, glo um, social um, global warming means mm. that New Zealand becomes a better place to live. So the the bottom ass end of the world's like the best play to, place to be. And if you're in the top north uh, northern hemisphere, mm. you like, what's that movie? Um, Geostorm? Uh, 2012. 
haven't seen that oh, one. Oh, the, day, the, the one with um, Dennis Quaid in it. Um, oh, we, the day after tomorrow. The day after tomorrow, yeah. So everybody in the north, um, northern hemisphere freezes solid yeah. um, in an instant. I'm keen for that. And, <laughs> <laughs> it does make it much more viable to move to the South Island of New Zealand now. So yeah, it won't yeah. be quite so cold because the warm warm. Yeah, well, they've been having 30 degree temperatures down there. So, mm. yeah, in, and, in the snow country. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Did you ever did you ever hang out with frogs when you were a kid? Uh, no, they hang out with us. Did they? Yeah, they were in the um, neighbour's place. They had a little pond and these frogs always, you could hear them. Uh, the did you go and catch them? Because I did as a kid. I actually No, I didn't. M- Mum and me actually caught, a, caught a, um, uh, a frog. Oh, wow. And I had a frog in a cage as a kid for a while. And How I long took, did it survive? I took, okay. it, I took it to school. And somebody's um, cat they brought with them, I think, either killed it or ate it. I can't remember. Oh, it no. didn't. It, I, it, either that or it did survive. It came back, and our cat ate it. Um, well, because <laughs> so in those days, everything we had was wild. Like dogs were fairly wild. The cats yeah. were all farm farm cats. Yeah, and they all bloody things. And 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 they they'll eat anything, um, even if it's ten si- and ten you know ten times their size. Mm. Uh, so. Yeah, so yeah, so I, I did have a frog at one point, and I I remember enjoying the the fact that there were frogs around. Actually, I remember the cats that we had, and um, there was a German shepherd across the road, and it came over, got got out, and came over to our place once, and these they were still kittens, and they attacked the German shepherd and scared it so much it ran back yeah. squealing. Yep, that was Rosie's cat. Oh, awesome. Smokey. Smokey! Oh my gosh, that reminds me. You you know the the Foot Rot Flats, the New Zealand um, cartoon Foot Rot Flats, uh, and um, and there's a uh, the uh, cat in there called Horse. Yes. And Horse like kills. It's almost the size of a horse. Yeah, it's almost the size of a horse. This cat. Yeah. Uh, you'd think it was like a, a, a you know a major feline predator. Because uh, it was. It was. Um, and it, it dominated everything. It um, did. <laughs> Uh, the frogs were wild too. Yeah, they were wild yeah. frogs. They, uh, the, the, it's not like these frogs were gonna 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 take any um, nonsense. They, uh... <laughs> yeah. you had to be careful. <laughs> yeah, I remember hop along. I think he was hopping around on the ground with one one leg and or, or he had a missing leg, and then oh my gosh, very man. quickly after that he was gone down down <laughs> down down the throat. Um, Yes. All right. So let's let's see if I. So I've got my my na- my new names for my channel written down, and if anybody comes up with some um, more um, highly appropriate names, this is one of those um, painting sessions where I'm actually just not even painting. I'm just talking with putting paint on. Right. And I really have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> so I, yeah, this is going to be more like a clown frog. I think by the time I finish. <laughs> All right. So. Let's have a look at the slardy. Um, I'm, I'm gonna let's have a look and see if there's anything in the slardy that we can talk about, while we still can talk about Dungeons and Dragons and monsters, mm. um, and the ever changing chaos of limbo. So apparently there's a limbo that's chaotic. Dumb and dumber. You want me to call myself how to be dumber and dumber? Dumb and dumber. Who's the dumber one? Mate. That's not me, is it? Because I'm the second person. I I I I, I feel. I, <laughs> I don't feel like people would gravitate to that very much. I don't know. Uh, I feel like they may, yeah, I might, I might. Are you just trying to call me dumb? <laughs> I, I, dude. <laughs> I, I, on the YouTube channel. Yeah, but if you're called dumb, I wind up being dumber. Oh, no, I'm, no, but I'm, I'm the second one, so I'm the dumber one. And, right. Oh, Carl's got a, a nice suggestion there. Look, I almost had a chance to read out a bit more about the Slarty, but apparently they're in limbo. Bits of forest and meadow, ruined castles, isolated island drifts through a bloody bloody tur- turbulent, tur- I don't know what that is, fire, water, earth, wind, so lots of elements. It's so, it's some sort of, it's an inhospitable, it's, it's a place that's not very nice to be and it's a plane of existence for toad-like slardy. So the ever-changing chaos of limbo, that's apparently what it is. Sounds like Zinch to me. Oh well, kind of a little bit like that. Chaos change, change. Yeah, yeah. I see. Carl's got a new name suggestion there. Your mum is brutal. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> T- 
to, to be fair, it's pr- it's pretty legitimate at times. <laughs> that, that is pretty legitimate, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Legends and Labyrinths. I, I like it. Yeah, that is cool. It is. It's very catchy. So every six months, I have got at least one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. That's three years of name changes. We're, we're, we're looking <laughs> yeah. good, people. You've in, yeah. you've ensured the my survival. Your, yeah, yeah. You've, um, you've insured Fred's retirement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still stable. Yeah, 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 yeah. If I if I if I live past three years, I might have a problem. So I'll need some more names. I have to do yeah, another yeah. one of these. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <dear>. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually I was actually thinking, what happens if suddenly Dungeons and Dragons people just decide they don't want to play it anymore because was it the case gotten? Nobody can see what you're doing, dude, because it's way over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that. It's in the corner. It's in the corner. I need, yeah, wash. Yeah. I need some washes. You need a wash. There's actually washes in the Nolta's Marvelous this... Pigments box. Is this it? Yeah. Okay. So. I'm gonna have a um, move <clears throat> things around for a second. Yeah, he's gonna do some moving things around uh, <laughs> while he tries to find the three washes that I have. <laughs> I didn't even think to bring washes. <laughs> it's all right. Um, because we don't usually wash things, because once you wash it, you can't do very much more, can you? No, but like, it's only sort of like to the teeth, in between the teeth and stuff. Mm-hmm, Which yeah. Okay. How about the, what's the, the wizard sleeve? What's the, the sleeve. wizard sleeve? It's usually quite baggy, isn't it? <clears throat> I'm, 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 I'm just not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. The wizard sleeve, not quite there, not quite there. What do we need? We need, um, uh... I think I think we get rid of the word wizard because just in case Wizards of the Coast feels like they could uh, make that um, their IP as well, maybe we should go with magician. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The magician sleeve. We'll call yeah. myself the magician sleeve. How's that? Let's go with that. The magician sleeve. <clears throat> that kind of suggests that I know magic, which I don't <laughs> at all. You have to learn fast. <laughs> yeah, I would. I would. Um, either that, or I could uh, run a channel um, about the magician sleeve and magic. And not actually be able to do it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we'll uh, we'll mark that down. Um, magicians, you think I'm joking, people? I'm writing this down. Uh, <laughs> the magician sleeve. I'm going to pin this to my wall so I remember. <clears throat> I've got uh, another name, so that's another. That's three and a half years. I will survive. Oh, what about if you call it this, Fred? <laughs> I could call it Fred Wheeler, yeah. like you called your channel David Bailey. Yeah. Do you know how I did that? How? I didn't name it at all. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh dear. <clears throat> You're being naughty, dear. Oh, I'm off the camera again. You are. Okay. Oh, uh. Uh, 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 I can't find your channel. Where is it? There it is. And then, do you, do you know that um, that Batman one didn't do that well the first time round. It's done really well this time. Yeah, remember I put it um, captured the thumbnail on the wrong point or something. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it, you, yeah. That's right. You were looking at the ass end of him. Yeah, yeah. You got a good, really good look of, at Batman's backside. You did. <coughs> Uh, but people obviously, I, I thought they wanted to see it, but they didn't. No, no, no. It's, I mean, it's, it's not like you have control about which, which thumbnail you'll get for those shorts anyway. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so yes. Um, so try to keep it reasonably clean. Um, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, I am, I am looking up. I did look up. Yeah, <laughs> I think a lot of us are. What's that? Lipstick? Well, big no, 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 no. <laughs> big kid is, is wondering why I I because it had hidden v- vagina. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> what the on there? <laughs> One of my patrons. Big kid, was it sleeve equals vagina? <laughs> <laughs> so you could just call it vagina. No. Oh, you couldn't. That's right. No, I can't. I can't do that. Let's let's see if we can actually talk. Well, who's going to chase you for that one? Well, I don't think that's not copyright. Not Wizards of the Coast. No, and no. Not Games Workshop. No, but somebody else might. You know <laughs> yeah, I, mean? yeah, yeah. I think nowadays you've got to be careful about social media, don't you? <laughs> um, um, actually, I'm starting to wonder about that. Mm-hmm. Okay, so how we, now we've got a thing called the the spawning stone. Long ago, 
Primus, the overlord of the Modrons. So this is like little robot people. Okay. Yeah. So imagine... In fantasy, yeah. Yeah. Imagine somebody took Robocop. Yeah. Squashed him in a press. <laughs> got rid of all his cool stuff. Oh. And his weapons. Ah. Oh. And gave him um, um, cavemen weapons. And, and, then, <laughs> and then said, here, now function. But you, you can't speak. And the only one you can speak to is somebody who's slightly more complicated than you are. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's Modrons. Um, so create a gigantic geometric complex stone imbued with the power of law. So Primus, the Modron um, X Robocop <clears throat> uh, overlord, uh, created this thing. <laughs> He then cast it into the, adrift into the limbo, believing that the stone would bring order into the chaos of that plane. So, otherwise, I guess if you have a, a plane called the ever-changing chaos of limbo, there might be a problem, right? So he's trying to fix it up <laughs> and, and order plane and halt the spread of chaos on to other planes. So you don't want to spread it, you know. It's, he's it's, trying to fix the infrastructure. Yeah, he's trying, trying to fix the infrastructure. He's trying to um, deal with the the ongoing virus. How to RPG. Uh, so, so Mum makes a very good point. Um, you have, you have, of course, distracted me from reading out the law from a book, which I may not be able to read from for very much Mom longer. Mum is brutal. <laughs> 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 um, but that's actually a name that was popping into my mind. Uh, Mum, as, as you... I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say, I thought of it when I was sleeping last night. But since you have said it, you get credit for creating the name. So I have to kick you back a little bit of uh, money um, when I start using that so name. So it fixes mum's retirement too. Now. It does. Yeah. Um, <coughs> mum has suggested how to RPG, and I thought how to role play game, which is the same. Or how to role play. Yeah. I don't have to be. It doesn't have to be game. We just go role play, because apparently role playing is only a game unless you use dice. <laughs> I'm gonna. Have, I'm gonna take the piss out of a lot of stuff today, people. <laughs> just, just go with it. Um, or, 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 or don't. <laughs> <laughs> how to, how to, um, how to role play. And that's my idea. But Mama said how to RPG. So that gets me another six months if I add mums in as well. Right. Mm. Okay. RPG. Cool. All right. I'm strengthening the channel against any kind of SRD or uh, changes or OGL open game licenses or the G GSLs or MSG. <laughs> Gotta be careful. MSG is not good for you. <laughs> um, all right, so. So Dungeons and Chronics has given you a sub, um, buddy. Um, but don't worry, if you haven't, if you haven't, we'll be here all week, apart from tomorrow on the weekend, which is Saturday and Sunday for us. Yeah. And for you, wherever you are in the world, I have no idea. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, we're in a different. We're in the future. We are. I'm going to the past. You are. I'm going to the past, man. When are you going back to the, to the future? When? Yeah, I've been talking about Back to the Future quite a lot Jane. recently. June. 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 So what are you going to do over there? Paint. In the UK? Yeah. You're going to paint? What are you going to paint? Models. Oh, are you, are you, are you actually, the, the thing that I've been trying to get you to do for friggin' years. Yeah. You're finally going to get serious about it. Yeah. So that, does that mean we're going to get to see you live streaming on your own channel? Yeah. In another country. How about in your country first? Yeah, probably won't get as many views until I move, but yeah. But uh, does, it, does, it, does it really matter? No, not no, really. No, I've been unlisting a lot of my live streams that I was told I should unlist because it's not good for YouTube, and they maybe had like 100, 200 views, and people have been watching them, but they're confused because they it says that it was it streamed two years ago, and suddenly it's become public um, is it because it was unlisted before. Mm. And, uh, and you know some of them have got getting like double the views they had before or um, even triple. So um, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, don't don't write off New Zealand just yet. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> um, 
so yeah, get them started. Work, 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 work with that. And when you change, then then you then you get the huge New Zealand market followed by the um, huge um, UK market. Yeah, the huge New Zealand market. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. It's absolutely massive. Yeah. Uh, what is what is Nacho got here? Um, how about Spell Lance in the um, Forgotten Dark Plane? I'm sure Wizards of the Coast will be fine with that. I don't know. I actually, to be fair. Um, we're both sweating like a pig in my office. Yes. And my brain is really not functioning that yeah. well. Yeah. And I'm just opening my mouth yeah. with, with a lozenger because I can't actually do it properly anymore. And I'm just putting paint because um, I can't think. So well, I'm just putting paint over over the same thing that I just put paint over before. We've been doing this for <laughs> almost an hour, dude. You're gonna you, you're gonna ha you're gonna have to get. You're gonna to have to get our, our rain, rainbow connection um, um, demon frog that um, implants tadpoles sorted out. <laughs> <coughs> and he's looking like you know something. Yeah, he is. Yeah. He's got like you know, yeah. He doesn't look like Kermit the Frog. He could if you wanted me to. Well, no, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Kermit's Kim, green, so you need to give me a green salad for that one. Well, my... a green salad, <laughs> right? And a red salad and a blue salad. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. Um, Dungeons and Chronics wants to know what kind of brush is that that he's using. Uh, this is a Windsor and Newton Series Seven, size um, zero, I think. Yeah. So there's zero, and then there's one, and then there's two, and then there's three, yeah, and then there's four, and then there's and it just keeps on going. Yeah, but there's you can go smaller, right? Zero, 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 zero. You, you can get triple zeros, and you can get double zeros. Yeah, yeah. I got a, I got a, um, uh, I think I got a triple zero somewhere. So is this one? I think I put it out um, over here on this side somewhere, but I can't remember. I'll, I'll have a look and see if I can find it. These are the ones that I bought were like the Citadel ones. They're really expensive. Oh, this is the one. Oh, this is a layer brush. But this is a um, this is a, a four dollar brush, and it's just as good as my ten dollar brush. This isn't ten dollars. Oh, okay. What's that? It's fifty dollars. Fifty dollars for one brush. Yeah, and this four dollar brush. We can't see it, man, because it's not on the screen. <laughs> this four dollar brush. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this one here. Yeah. Is as good as this fifty dollar brush. <laughs> Actually better, mm -hmm. um, and um, a lot of painters I've, uh, that I follow um, who are really, really good use two $3 brushes. Right. So does it matter that you have a really expensive brush? No, not really. So what sort of brush is it, and where do you get it from? Um, this one was just from a, uh, an art shop on, um, I think it was Takapun Art Supplies or something like that. Okay, so that's well, New Zealand Takapun. New, New Zealand, yeah, yeah, but it's it's you can get this on AliExpress. Right, oh, AliExpress. Okay, so there's yeah. cheap airs. Made in China? Right, of course. Everything, made ev in China? As yeah. Apparently everything is. Uh, well, even these are. That's right. Yes, these $50 brushes are made probably in the same factory as these. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> overboard. Hello, Overboard. I, I like the name change. You've shortened it. Um, I feel like I might need to do a name change myself. We've just been talking about that. Um, so Overboard is a patron. He's also a moderator. And he has... Um, Actually, overboard. His name is Joe. Hi, Joe. And Joe, Joe has a whole lot of stuff um, on miniatures, and uh, because he goes overboard about miniatures, terrain, does a lot of reviews, buys buys a lot of stuff, a lot of Dwarven Forge on his channel. Um, <clears throat> what's this? Dungeons and Chronics. I also wonder how other people can clean their brushes for storage. How do you go about cleaning your brushes for storage? Uh, use um, brush soap. Right. Which I don't have here with me, unfortunately. But yeah, you can buy it from any art shop. Yeah. With brush soap, and you just you clean the brush out, and then rinse it out, and then um, that gets all of the paint off it. Yeah. And when you're storing them, it's best to store them down. Store them down, not up. Not up. I store my my, my brushes flat. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, you can store them flat. You can get little um, brush stands and stuff, eh? You know. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It's like um, um, a stand for a sword. It is. So the it, it literally looks like that. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's another it's another stand. So if you're into miniature painting, it's like the brush is mightier than the sword. It is. <laughs> you can paint yourself out of a bad. Well, you can position. paint a sword too. So yeah, that's the right. Brush is mightier. You can paint yourself out of a bad position. Okay. Um. So, uh, so art teacher online. Uh, for those of you who don't know, mums in my live stream. Um, <laughs> 
the warehouse stationery in New Zealand, DAS is good. So DAS is the brush cleaner. Uh, Mum has talked to me about brush cleaning, and so has my uh, my middle sister, Yvonne, um, more than a few times. Um, I think Mum and more. <laughs> it's good. It, make, it just makes them last a long time. Yeah, it does. All right, so I was trying to read from the slard uh, law. How are we doing with um, uh, the Rainbow Connection, Kermit the Frog? He's pretty much almost... Yeah. He's almost done. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Did 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 you ever watch? Uh, you might. It's, it's probably before your time. But there was a Muppet movie, and it had a famous scene in it where it's got Kim the Frog sitting in a on a log or on a lily pad singing the Rainbow Connection. Yes. You remember this? I do. No, oh, I remember that too so much. I was uh, I was, and, it, and what made me laugh about that song is it um it actually got an award. <laughs> So, Jim Henderson, who's singing with Henson, Henson. Henson um, who's singing with a um, a puppet on his hand. Oh no! And and with a fake guitar. Oh man! Um, managed to actually wind up getting an award, or at least nominated for an award for his song and his portrayal and performance over people who were making actual other music. Music. Oh man! Because of that movie and that song, it became so popular. I think it would even wind up on the charts as a, a legitimate song that people could listen to with Kermit the Frog. <clears throat> it's like that Rubber Ducky song. <clears throat> that's right. Remember from it was it? Uh, Sesame Street. Sesame Street, yeah. Ernie and... Ernie. Bert and Ernie. Bert and Ernie, that's right. Yeah. Rubber Ducky. You're the one. We can't sing this because then YouTube will demonetize oh, yeah, us. Yeah. <laughs> you make my bath time such a pain in the ass. <laughs> yeah. Um, da... Da Vinci brush cleaning soap is good. Wrap them in tape. Got to wrap them in tape. Good to know. Um, Mum, keep keep keeping an eye on the boys. You, she can't, mate. She's in a different house. She's four door da- four doors down from me. Yeah. <laughs> We're in the same street. I know. <laughs> yeah, but I will be going to get some Lego with you later. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, am I coming over today to uh, watch? Um, um, is it it's th- family dinner night tonight. Is this the night? This is the night. Not tomorrow. It's no. Tonight's night. From what I hear, it's tonight. Oh, cool. I've pulled out some stuff and can do some cooking. And all oh, right. So, am I go? Are we going to Mum's place or are we going to my place? I don't know. We don't know. <laughs> are, are we meeting in the middle? Yeah, on the street. On the street. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know. So make sure the food's cooked before you get there. Well, I don't have to walk two doors down. And yeah, mum yeah, yeah. To, Mum and you and, and everybody else, um, Sam only has to walk two, 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 two doors up. Oh, no, but Sam doesn't leave the property, so that's No, well, that's true. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's a good problem. <laughs> um, game over. Uh, yes, game over. All right, okay. Yes, I'm, we're supposed to stop at the hour mark, but we're not going to stop until David has finished I'm, painting. I'm happy with this. I'm happy okay, with it. Yeah, okay. yeah. Right, so shall I read out the rest of the slard um, so that you have nightmares tonight? Yes. Okay, let me let me read out the rest of the slard. Um, for those of you who don't don't understand, this live stream is only supposed to be an hour, um, but we've been having such a good time. Um, <laughs> Even though Fred is still quite, um, looks like this frog. I, I look, I, 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 I look, very sick. <laughs> I look very sick, but I'm not positive. Yeah. I am negative. Yeah. And um, I, I'm not contagious. You're feeling sick, but you're negative about it. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and I'm, I'm in a, a good mood. Yes. Um, which is always promising. Yeah. 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 So let's, let's see more if my eyes will work. Apparently they don't work that well. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. There it is. This is the, the spawning stone that the um, compact um, Judge Dredd Robocop oh, thing. Yeah, the made. Yeah, the Modron yeah, um, Primus Modron. thing. As the stone p- powers grow, uh, it becomes impossible for creatures without ordered minds, such as Modrons and Githyanki, I was a Githsarai, Githsarai, to create um, enclaves in limbo. So limbo it must be a plane of existence. However, Primus's creation had an unforeseen side effect. The chaos energy absorbed by the stone spawned the horrors that came to be known as the Slardy. Oh dear. I feel like there's a fairly significant design um, fault, don't you think? Yes. Yeah, I think, you, yeah, you, you promise, mate, you really have to get your stuff sorted out first. Yeah. So, Caveman robots don't make good things. Yeah, you, you, you have created um, the thing that will undo the universe yeah. now. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, sages refer to Primus's massive creation as the spawning stone for this reason. That's why it's called the spawning stone, because it spawns Slardy. <laughs> um, the Slardy wiped out every last Modron enclave in Limbo. Well, what a, what a surprise. 
Um, is creatures of utter chaos the Sladi loathe my drones and attack them on sight? Well, we kind of figured that one out. <laughs> Nevertheless, Primus um, stands by his creation, <laughs> so he he won't accept his mistake. <laughs> he's still he's even still gonna, it's gonna kill him. Yeah, yeah. It's, even though it wiped out like a, a whole bunch of my drones yeah. and a, an entire plane of existence. Yeah, yeah. Won't accept the mistake. I mean, seriously, he needs to go to like one of those groups that uh, we sit down and you talk about your problems. Yeah, yeah, counselling uh, like a um, AA group. An AA group, yeah. yeah like you know, you, the first this first road to um, rehabilitation and yeah. treatment yeah. is accepting your your mistakes. Yes, right. Yes, and and obviously, uh, Primus, the um, overlord of Modrons, needs to go and and get some help. Yeah. So we're going to recommend. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for the super chat play um overboard i do appreciate it thanks for the painting stream fred even though it i, I was late that's all right because don't worry we'll be back in about uh three two days two, 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 three, two, day, three, three, three days three days three days three days, three days. yeah we're gonna we're gonna take saturday and sunday off yeah 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 Yeah, and then we'll be back on monday and should are we doing the the zombie beholder we might as well do the zombie beholder. um fred's gonna choose it okay and he's gonna randomly choose what he feels like choosing so, so, so you'll find out on Monday. We'll just move, do it. We'll just make the decision on Monday. We'll make the decision on Monday, but it will be chosen by Fred. So if you don't like it, I take no responsibility. <laughs> right. Okay. So it's. <laughs> I'm, I'm going I'm to say um, that there's v very little chance it's likely to be the zombie beholder. I think that it's almost impossible that we're going to select that. That I will yep. pick that one. Yeah. I think that's not going to be it's the one that'll be no. Yeah. And and so in three days we that won't happen. No. But there's a lot of miniatures to be painted, so um, this should be quite entertaining as a, there as a process. There is an awful lot. We, you know, just, if, we've had, if I had them here and showed them, yeah, it's, it's what you call a pile of shame, they call that. <laughs> <laughs> I have a pile of shame, which is just unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. So, so now, where was I? It was talking about, uh, oh, this is Primus's um, uh, uh, sign serious, serious oversight. Nevertheless, Primus stands by his creation and either doesn't perceive the Slardy as a threat or chooses to ignore them. <laughs> Primus until is, they die yeah 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 uh dear <clears throat> yeah 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 until they get they, they get one with tadpole growing inside them oh, oh the chest burst up yeah 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 i oh. mean i still feel like the face hacker from alien is probably a much worse way to wind up with a tadpole growing in you yeah compared to being injected into you through somebody's claws then again you're asleep when you have the face hugger on you well, and it knocks you out. Oh, they, you're in a coma. they do. They yeah, do. Yeah, whereas if, if this frog thing sticks on, look at those claws. They, they are, they're pretty blind. You're alive, mm -hmm. awake, and aware of the pain that you're going through when it's yep. sticking. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, all right. I mean, both both sound bad. They really. both sound bad. Yeah. <laughs> see, see you later, Dungeons and Chronics. Um, I, I appreciate you you showing up. Yeah. Um, what, what's overboard got it written here? I appreciate the shout out, Fred. You, you're welcome. I have been playing. Uh, uh, with my setup just recently i do plan to get back to doing videos i'm looking forward to seeing you painting live i know you do it over discord so and i know you've got spent lots of money so it'll be be fun um <clears throat> yeah, of course everybody's going to tell you that painting live on youtube is a disastrous idea and you shouldn't uh, do it. yes slard is on the menu tonight slard yeah, yeah, yeah we're gonna have figure out uh, i'll get yvonne to make it she'll figure it out slard salad It'll be Yvonne Riddle. Yeah. Just tell him, yeah, Yvonne will make a slide salad. Yeah. So, birth into form transformation, and then we're going to get out of here because we are melting, aren't we? We are melting. Oh my God, I feel sweaty. It's, yeah. Yeah. Slardy have horrific cycles of reproduction. Really? Oh, I think we already figured that one out. Slardy reproduce either by implanting humanoid hosts with eggs or by infecting them with transformative disease. Oh my God, it gets worse. So it's not just eggs growing. A transformative disease caused chaos phage. Is it phage? Is it phage? It's called phage. It sounds like a little noogly thing to do. It does. It, 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 feel, it feels like what a, dog, like a what a dog would get. Yeah. They get phage Rabies. or something like that. Yeah. Each color of slardy reproduces um, a, or transforms into a different in a different way. The red slardy spawn blue and green slardy. And blue slardy spawn red and green slardy. Each green slardy undergo a long life um, cycle of transformation into the more powerful grey and de uh, and death slardy. So I think death slardy are black, mm. and grey slardy are obviously grey. Um, <laughs> each <laughs> and the red slardy is red. <laughs> That's right. Uh, with with each transformation, the slardy retains its memories. 
Um, some slutty can transform into humanoid creatures from which they were originally spawned. Oh, that does not sound like a good idea. So now they can disguise themselves as somebody else and not even a demon froggy. My gosh. <clears throat> okay. Well, <clears throat> uh, it was nice talking about um, Wizards of the Coast's IP, <laughs> since I won't ever be able to do it again. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, thanks, Games Workshop. Thanks. Uh, yeah, the Games, Games Workshop. You mean Wizards of the Coast? Same thing now. No, no, no. <laughs> Um, so we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll be, we'll be back in, uh, what is it? Uh, three, three days, days, three days. The, and we will not be painting an undead beholder, most likely. No, no, that's definitely, that's definitely not, not what's what, going to happen. No. no. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, where is this? Oh, got to find it. So, so if you haven't figured it out, um, we're highly appropriate today. Yes. Okay. Yep. Um, in no way. In no this is that um, song we were talking about. That, 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 that's right. The Rainbow Connection Muppet. Yeah, Muppet yeah, yeah. This is what this Muppet. is what this is what he looked like right after that scene. The Muppet movie. Yeah, yeah. that's the one. Yeah. So um, I, I would just like to say thank you to all of my patrons uh, mm. for supporting me, and mm. I would like to thank um, Overboard for the super chat. But I always very much like to thank my brother for coming along and putting up with um, this nonsense. <laughs> And creating some of it. Yeah, yeah, well, I mean, you know, it, it was fun. Yeah. Do you want to do it again? Yes. Okay, so we'll, we're gonna, we'll be back. It's going to happen. And we're definitely not painting a zombie beholder. We're not painting a zombie beholder. No, I'm not going to paint that We'll one. paint something that, that we can make as much fun of as, as, a, it's exactly, as a seller. Exactly. I mean, it's a, 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 a... Something. We'll make fun of something. Something. Yeah. So <laughs> so thank you for everybody who's been here in the live chat and, and commenting. And, and uh, I really do want to thank everybody for showing up and, and watching this because mm. I, I know how... I know how hard it is to um, sit through uh, an hour of somebody painting, um, you know, like a rainbow frog. 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 Listening to us talking silly stuff. About, yeah. Like everything we could possibly yeah. think of, really. And, and and for putting up with my edited videos and my shorts, my shorts videos, like if I don't do them, YouTube hates me apparently. But um, <laughs> yeah, yeah they're, they're happening. So wherever you are in the world, whether it be the morning, the afternoon, the night, or the wee wee early morning, please look after yourself, your family, and your friends. Be nice to your neighbours. And hey, till next time. Keep rolling those 20s. Apparently we are. At the moment, mm -hmm. until Games Workshop. All right. <laughs> Do you want to type in there, thank you? Yeah, try again. <laughs>